everyone. It's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. And yes, surprise, I am bringing back for the time being the monthly readings. Now, of course, this is going to be on a trial basis. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we will see what kind of feedback comes in from these videos. So I'll determine then whether to continue them. But for now, this is going to be April 2019. My website is angelsouls444.com. Let's get started. Hello, Cancer. Let's see what's going on for you for April 2019. So fresh starts, that's that's kind of a thing. It, it, but it's not what you might think of as a fresh start. Um, as a matter of fact, for some of you, depending on your perception and how you approach this information, um, you might find it as like, oh gosh, I can't believe that. It feels like my heart just got ripped out because what I thought was going to happen didn't. Um, or doubting your intuition. Some of you might get into that space where you're doubting your intuition. Don't do that, okay? <laughs> it, it's sort of like someone like lifts you out of mud and you didn't even realize you were walking through mud and they finally just kind of lift you out and so it could be a little startling at first or some of you might be like why are you helping me you know what are the strings attached to this so it's okay of course always be discerning but you're going to be lifted out there's this feeling of it, it's like sliding you out of something that's sticky and slimy i don't even know <laughs> i said mud i don't know but it's like bringing you out of something. This doesn't mean that somebody comes in and saves you necessarily, but so there, there's another person that has something helpful to offer you. And, um, ooh, ooh, cards everywhere. Okay, so I'll get them here. Let's, they're all over the place. Um, I got two that flew out. But I want to say too, you know, you don't want to lean on somebody to save you necessarily, but someone has some good information to help, you know, kind of bring you out of whatever you've been experiencing. So there's another card. You guys are on fire with your intuition this month because I mean, everything is just, again, it's like coming into that higher frequency. Sure. Yeah. Higher frequency. Let's call it that. All right. One more card, please. There's a lot of groundedness too here. Yeah. Cause they're all dark colors. So they're browns, they're golds. I'll just show you the color scheme here. You see all that? And then we have the black obsidian. Be grounded, be on solid ground, not muddy ground, right? <laughs> but you're being grounded and you're letting some negativity go away. All right. So let me get them in the order that I pulled them. So first up is Tiger's Eye Courage. You're finding your voice. You're finding out um, this is where I want to be. This is how I want my my existence to be. I want it to mean something. And yes, there's that whole pressure to leave a legacy and what have you. And I am not encouraging the pressure part of it, <laughs> but there's courage to go for some sort of inspiration. So this could be if you were inspired to write a book, sit down and give it a go. Uh, maybe this is completing something, having the courage to go back and look at something that someone told you, you shouldn't do that right now again these are general readings that's not going to be for everybody be careful with what you listen to all right but definitely tiger's eye says you're being yourself and you're allowing that that real you to come on out and then we have master teacher card awakening crystal emotional healing so this incredible thing happens when you're being authentic and true to yourself all right this isn't encouraging you to be um, selfish or entitled or anything like that. Of course, we would never encourage that. But this emotional healing comes from releasing yourself from the self-imposed prison. Um, oh, I made this choice, so I have to stay. Well, I took a risk, and so I have to keep on with this. No, you don't. Okay? No, you don't. So really pay attention to that word awakening. It's really something's going to turn the light on, and you're going to be like, whoa. You're waking up to a situation. You're waking up to awareness. And people really love taking that word awakening and be like, oh, I'm awakening to, to my spiritual blah, 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 blah. Okay. Careful with that. And careful listening to people like that. Okay. Because an awakening, a true awakening is quiet. It's so subtle. And the reason why I say that is because it's so profound and so deep that there are no words. And by yelling out about it, you're disconnecting from the awakening. So just be careful. I, I'm not going to say any more about it. So we have another master teacher card, Ancient Wisdom Crystal, Ancient Wisdom. So that's, that, I think, what a wise one would do. They wouldn't go around bragging about how, how enlightened they are. They would just be. 
and there's a lot of power in being and that's a lot of that wisdom that has been passed down to us so tap into that inner wisdom that heart wisdom and remember if, if you <laughs> throw your energy outside of you what's left for you it's better to be and to be experiencing than trying to convince others that you are important that you are above it all or whatever the case may be and I really want to drive it home to you guys don't listen to people who are like that okay some of the best teachers out there don't go around talking and touting about how enlightened they are okay so then we have black obsidian the shadow again this warning comes with you know, some like here it's backing it up right um so it's saying there are people out there that you might be exposed to who have this shadow aspect who maybe you are following your inspiration and they say hey i can help you and then you bring them in and all they do is criticize you and it's not even constructive criticism which i always <laughs> the way people use it i've always said there's no such thing as constructive criticism because people I don't think anybody knows what that means, right? Um, constructive feedback, you know, something that could really be helpful. You know, you might find that that's not what's occurring. And instead, it's somebody who's just wanting to beat you down because they're jealous of what you're accomplishing. That's about someone else's fear. That's about someone else's shadow aspect coming out and maybe pinging, you know, maybe pinging off of yours. And because everyone has a shadow aspect, right? Um, and you're dealing with that now. You're looking at that and going, okay, you know what? That did kind of uh, not sit well with me. Or you know what? I do do this or whatever. Whatever your shadow aspect is, it'll start to come out. And you might have some anger, but it, that anger might also be fuel, right? So if somebody has been for the longest time been like so critical of you, they're like, oh, it's just constructive criticism. Just take it, okay? Just take it. And you might say, no, it's not helpful. I think that you like seeing me wobble and so you throw that at me you know having a voice and saying okay I understand I'm not above doing that myself everybody gets jealous from time to time everybody has a bad day everybody has that shadow aspect that comes on out but you know with understanding and compassion you can have a say okay and I think I think by doing that that's really tapping into that deeper wisdom as this says right there but again we said be very, very grounded as you approach all of this, okay? So some really nice things happening. You're standing up. You're having courage. You're standing in front of people and being like, this is who I am. And then people are going to be like, ha, 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 ha. Oh, you shouldn't do that. You should do this. You should... No, shush. This is who I am. And this is what I'm doing. And next thing you know, people are following your example. That's what it is. Okay. Your color card <laughs> is peach. How weird, I just ate peaches. Not that you care about that, but there you go anyway. Peach, inhale a breath of life. The number is 19. You are coming alive. You are finally not taking it anymore and you're letting yourself be seen. And this is really, really wonderful. And this also talks about being at peace. Yes, feeling that inner peace. Then that's where you start to get that higher frequency. That's where things aren't bothering you so much. But sometimes part of the... The pressure that's coming at us is to get us to speak out and to say what we have to say. But there's some freedom going on here and a lot of independence. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care.